It's been a hard night at sea for fishermen in Pesale, but the longas don't seem to be worth it. We go home empty-handed. The income we get is not enough for the children's education, school and other expenses. Landing a good catch has become increasingly difficult, even though most restrictions on fishing were lifted after the war with the Tamil Tigers ended two years ago. But a greater challenge is now threatening livelihood. Indian trawlers, up to 3,000 a week, are poaching in Sri Lankan waters, carrying away millions of dollars worth of resources. We can't go fishing because hundreds, thousands of them come. Our nets get tangled in their lines and are destroyed or our boats can get dragged along. Al Jazeera filmed dozens of Indian vessels illegally fishing on two different days. The registration numbers on these trawlers show their Tamil Nadu origin. It's easy to spot the Indian trawlers in Sri Lankan waters, like this boat behind me, just four kilometers off the northwestern coast. The navy which once battled Tamil tigers now looks out for Indian fishermen. It has been accused of harassing the Indians, even killing some. Charges it strongly denies. In a written statement, the Indian High Commission in Colombo told Al Jazeera, we have issues relating to the straying of fishermen from both countries into each other's territorial waters. Both sides are working to address these issues, including at joint working group meetings. The Indian boats drag heavy planks behind them, scraping the seabed and scooping up everything into huge nets that follow. Small fishes, the feeding fishes and the busy grass and that uh, coral reefs and the whole physical features are fully destroyed. Traditionally, borders mean little to those who follow the fish. But Sri Lankan fishermen insist territorial boundaries must be respected and enforced to safeguard their livelihood and protect the marine environment. Minel Fernandez, Pesale, Northwest Sri Lanka.